TV you've been seeing in my videos at the end on the thanks for watching screen. Um, this TV was manufactured in 1994. I bought it at some weird antique store. It was $10. Um, I don't, I don't have any plugs right now because it's virtually useless. There's no reason to turn it on. Um, though it's, it's a pretty cool, it's black and white TV, but it doesn't really matter. It has a good picture, though. A good picture. I have some specs about it right here. It's a 5-inch portable black and white television. That's before we started calling it TV. Frequency way TV2, 13 channels. I only get one channel. Because there's only one channel. That one channel that I get is the Bible channel. Mm, it's not what I call fun. Um, the ports it has. There's a charging port. I don't know what the other two are. Yeah. Oh, that's an antenna. I already have an antenna on this thing now. And this is the different... You can make it run on that. A cool thing about this is it's a, since it's a portable TV. Um, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Yeah. You see that? Oh, I don't know where the bottom is, but you can have like 500 batteries in here. And then you, can, you don't have to worry about it. Having to plug it in. I seriously don't know where the plugs are. Here's the box that it came with. It came with this box. I will open it in a second, so I will be back once I get it. Hey, I am back. I have this thing open. Let's move this out of it. it is Z the CRT. The tube of chunk gun. The strange thing, since it's black and white, look how small the computer chip on the back is. This is pathetic. On the later CRTs, you have this whole panel at the back of the electron gun. But I've studied it before, and it seems there's three or there's about like five wires connected to this thing. This wire right here is to something else. Um, yeah, there's three wires, but there's options for more wires. There's only there's two soldered on over here, and there's one soldered on over here. But there's like, it's like this is not exactly the TV only. There's more soldering options. Looks like bad soldering job, but oh, it's good enough to do this. Those are the factor of the Japanese people. For anyone who doesn't know anything about these things, here's one thing: don't touch those chocolate thingies. Those, because they could hurt you really bad, and you wouldn't want that to happen. Here's where it was made. Hong Kong CRT Co. LTD. Um, and then it says Chung, Chung Li. And there's something. I don't know what that is. Some junk. This cord right here. Is the antenna cord and it hooks to the anten antenna back here, which I unscrewed so I can move this young thing that keeps me from getting the whole case off the back of this thing. It's just one cord right here. It doesn't I can't get it I seem to get it off. I've actually turned it on in the state before. If you look at it from this angle, 
It's a pretty small CRT. It looks kind of goofy. This is like the only other electronic besides the iMac in our house. So, this is why I decided to do a video on it. I, I did have, I was filming earlier this morning when I was at my dad's house, but he's gone to work now. But, um, I realized that I didn't click the record button. So I was talking for no reason, which I was like, oh my gosh. It was a video of my IMAX with two monitors hooked up to them. Random, but yes. I also was doing a Dell video, but it was going nowhere, so I deleted it. Um, well, that's about it. Let's see if I can find anything else in here that's interesting. This thing looks poorly made though because there's all this glue everywhere. I mean, seriously, why is there glue on this thing? Why is there glue on the electron gun? I'm going to be surprised if there's glue in the electron gun. I'm trying to take this glue off. It's not even really. It's 500 year old glue. Stupid glue. Get off my monitor. Get off my TV. It's even all over the that stuff too. I will probably never touch that. I was trying to get the whole monitor out. Like there's a a little tab up here. And you think I've tried pulling it down where you can actually remove the front case and you can see the CRT. I've never really taken apart a CRT besides this. You can see the back. I've never fully taken it out of the case before, which I would like to do because I don't know much about CRTs. I don't know what those other things are called. Like, I don't know what those coils are called. Oh, I just realized something. It doesn't have that suction cup thingy. There's usually a suction cup right here on CRTs. Strange. There's a grounding cable right here. Not that stupid. I know what a grounding cable. It goes straight to the circuit board. This is stupid. Because then... There should be like a metal piece on the TV somewhere. It's not connected to the circuit board. Cause that wouldn't that mean? Yeah, where is it connected to? Oh wait, I actually think it's oh no, it's even connected it's connected to the CRT. I think. Mm. Once again, not one of my more interesting videos showing the inside of this boring black and white TV. Even the circuit board looks basic. There's capacitors are fat. Those orange things remind me of those blue things on a modem card. It's like there's only one kind of modem card they make. It's always been a 56k modem. Oh, I can't believe that was like the most popular way back then because we had a ethernet was a lot faster we even had Wi-Fi for a while we're still using the K 56 k mode and I wasn't, I wasn't alive one day I used those well no I'll take that back yes I was alive I was born in 1999 so yeah this video is getting too long I still got a long time but I don't want so that's all.